and it's Mrs. Behrens with your reading lesson. Today we'll be looking at another one of Eve Bunting's books titled The Wall that has been made into a reader's theater. It means it's written like a play or a drama. You'll need your reader's notebook and a pencil. And our learning targets are I can apply what I have learned to a new type of text and I can explain my understanding through writing. As we read through this reader's theater of the wall, I will be leaving room for you to participate and leaving space for you to read the part of the boy in this reader's theater. So listen as I play the parts of narrator, dad, man, and old man, and you will fill in with the part of the boy. Let's read The Wall by Eve Bunting. This is the wall, my grandfather's wall. On it are the names of those killed in a war long ago. Now it's your turn to read the boy. We have to find it. He and I have come a long way for this, and we walk slowly, searching. The wall is black and shiny as a mirror. In it, I can see Dad and me. I can see the bare trees behind us and the dark flying clouds. A man in a wheelchair stares at the name. He doesn't have legs. I'm looking, and he sees me looking and smiles. Hi, son. His hat is soft, is a soft squashed green, and there are medals on it. His pant legs are folded back, and his shirt is a soldier's shirt. Flowers and other things have been laid against the wall. There are little flags, an old teddy bear, and letters, weighted with stone so they won't blow away. Someone has left a rose with a droopy head. No, there are so many names. They are listed under the years when they were killed. I've found 1967. Dad runs his fingers along the rows of print, and I do, too. The letters march side by side, like rows of soldiers. They're nice and even. It's better printing than I can do. The wall is warm. Dad is searching and searching. Albert A. Jensen, Charles Bronowski, George Munoz. Your grandpa, my dad. He was just my age when he was killed. We've brought paper. Dad puts it over the letters and rubs on it with a pencil so the paper goes dark and the letters show up white. Your grandpa won't mind. Maybe so. A man and a boy walk past. Can we go to the river now, grandpa? The boy asks. Yes. The man takes the boy's hand. But button your jacket. It's cold. A bunch of big girls in school uniforms come down the path. Their teacher is with them. They are all carrying more of those little flags. Is this wall for the dead soldiers, Miss Gerber? The names are the names of the dead, but the wall is for all of us.
The girls stick their flags in the dirt in front of the wall and leave. Then it's quiet again. It blows away. I think you will. I know, but it's a place of honor. I'm proud that your grandfather's name is on this wall. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial honors the men and women of the armed forces of the United States who served in the Vietnam War. On it, are listed the names of those who gave their lives and those missing in action. The memorial is located in Washington, D.C. On the long black wall are more than 58,000 names. Now that we have finished reading through the wall, Reader's Theater, you will be responding to this story by talking about the message or the lesson of this book. In paragraph format, simply share your thoughts and ideas of what you think the author's message is. Be sure to include evidence from the text, the story, and or the illustrations. After you've completed your work, submit it to Schoology.